Okay, this, uh, this first question <clears throat> is for the uh, post four uh, candidates, and, and, uh, um, and the question is, okay, the, the question is the need to bring our older neighborhoods up to par. Uh, there, are, there are no requirements for infrastructure improvements for our older subdivisions and older single family dwellings. Many of these homes were built before requirements for uh, curbs, gutters, stormwater management, Street lighting and sidewalks were established. The city manager has been charged to formulate a plan to upgrade neighborhoods to current standards. What would you do to see that this plan is implemented and does not fall through the cracks? And, and this will go to Mr. Martin first. Um, I do see this as an issue. Uh, we do have an older older city. Nobody can deny that. I think a lot of our um, development hit during the 80s and 90s um, when when you say Gwinnett County is kind of finding itself, and we were still kind of trying to find ourselves as well. A lot of the requirements um, during those times, and even going back into the 50s and 60s, um, as my house was built in the 60s. So, um, but a lot of neighborhoods at the time didn't have the same kind of standards we have today. Uh, and, and over the years, we've, um, we've gone on the record and, and we've set new standards that say, hey, this is the way a neighborhood should look. These are the requirements. These are the minimum standards for lighting, uh, for stormwater, and um, and for other, you know, other things in the neighborhood. So, um, in our last council, last council meeting, um, we presented a um, two council meetings ago. Excuse me, they all kind of run together. Um, we presented a um, a resolution, uh, and I presented it to the council um, for for making sure that we are modernizing our our neighborhoods. That, that these other neighborhoods where there are no um, requirements for just an example, the, the decorative lighting, decorative poles. We, a couple years ago, we said, hey, that has to be done uh, in all neighborhoods. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of neighborhoods out there that have underground power that still have wooden poles. So we said, hey, that's an easy fix. It's not terribly expensive. And if it's good for one neighborhood, it's good for all neighborhoods. So let's, let's do it citywide. And the other thing is uh, there are neighborhoods out there that still don't have any kind of stormwater facilities. If they do, they were kind of the runoff into the ditch kind of facilities that have kind of filled up over time, so they're not effective. So we want to continue to do that as well and make sure that each one of those neighborhoods are seen, studied, and that it's, that it's taken care of and done and handled. And, and the key is um, that we don't just pick one here and one there. The key is to get a full list, and that's what the city manager is doing now, to get a full list, bring it back to the council, and come up with a plan that we can put into force over time where we do a certain amount each year and get the problem handled over a certain amount of time. And first of all, I'd like to thank the LNA for putting on this function to so the public can come and participate and hopefully find out a little something about us up here. Three years ago, we implemented with the city a paving program where we were taking a million dollars a year of SPLOS funds over a five-year period to repave every city street. Uh, I think we're well into the third or fourth year because we doubled up one year when paving got cheap so we could take advantage of it. As far as the stormwater problems that we have in the cities, I think our stormwater management um, team that was put in place are addressing those issues and of course the funding for that will come from the stormwater fee that you pay monthly on your $4.20 you pay each month on your utility bills. Uh, as far as the bringing all of them up to what the current code is, we certainly got to look at what's going to be necessary, what the cost of it's going to be, and then find the funding uh, if we can. We can't fix everything in the city. Uh, the city just doesn't have the money to do that. What I would do in order to make sure that the city manager is meeting the requirements uh, for the older neighborhoods to meet the standards is I would go out and visit with these older neighborhoods I would also communicate with the city manager to develop a timetable for the completion of the project and then also to get the residents buy-in, I would disclose that timetable with them so that they could also be responsible for making sure that these, uh, these repairs and these standards are being met. So that's what I would do in order to um, make sure that the city manager is meeting the requirements and the standards for the older neighborhoods. 